Hey guys, welcome back. Let's start with the hands-on view on feature scaling. So again, we have this cell which will just import the libraries that we need in this. Apart from this, uh, our data set is also called out. Let's check out the descript method. Okay. Let's check info. These are something which I usually do whenever I get a data set. So you can see that these are the object name, sex, cabin, and embark. So we have sex in male and female. So what we are going to do is we are going to take, let's start with embark. So let's do data dot embark. Yeah these are having some values let's check how many unique values are there in this let's copy this out paste it over here let's check the unique values so there are three unique values so we will be having three columns when we are doing one hot encoder let's do the same thing and okay so we have three things now one hot encoding I cannot process string directly, right? So we have to convert them into different columns, which is having the binary value one or zero. Okay. So there are two ways to do it. One way is by using the pandas get dummies method, and another way is the using one hot encoder method. So there's quite a bit of difference in between, but both of them does the work just fine. So in one hot encoder, I cannot process string values directly. If your nominal features are string, then you need to map them into integers. But in pandas get dummies, it is a kind of the opposite. By default, it only converts string columns into one hot representation unless columns are specified. So let me show you what I mean. So let's start with get dummies method. So what I'm going to do is let's create a new get dummies pd dot get dummies method and I am going to pass the column inbox now if I check df2 so I have the columns now let's attach back let's concatenate with data so for that we have the famous pandas concat function and let's add them data and comma df2 okay let's change the axis axis is equal to one okay so you can see that for q we have one for s again we have one and all the others are zeros so that's how we can do one hot encoding using get dummies let's look how to do it using one hot encoder Again, it's totally up to you, whichever you want to use. There are some differences between them, but uh, both will do just the work fine. Okay, so let's start with how we can do it using sklearn. So from the sklearn library, we are going to call from pre-processing. We are going to import one, one hot encoder okay so from the package sklearn from pre-processing module we are calling particularly one hot encoder okay now what i'm going to do is let initialize it one hot encoder and now what i'm going to do is if you want to just remove the uh, errors that we are going to get then we can just mention handle unknown equals to unknown and if there are unknown values then it will just tackle it up but ignore we are going to ignore the unknown values so that's it let's run this so everything is fine it has been uh, the encoder object has been created so i have created an object for one hot encoder and let's run then let's fit it out so x equals to encoder dot fit transform you can also use fit but what i'm going to do is uh, 
before fitting it will just transform the data so data and inside of this i'm going to pass timber okay and if i check x so it's a 418 store matrix so let's convert into an array dot array and let's check it out so you can see the matrix is quite similar 0 1 0 same thing 0 0 1 and then again 0 1 0 so that's how it continues up and down so that's how we can do it from one hot encoder from sklearn and this is how we can do it from get dummies so get dummies is something which i use most of the time but there's again a catch over here in one hot encoder i cannot process string values directly if your nominal features are strings then you need to map them into integers okay and in get pandas that is the get dummies it is a kind of the opposite by default it only converts string columns into one hot representation unless columns are specified okay so that's the difference the last thing that we should be looking into this is label encoder so let's start with label encoder okay so for this it's quite simple let's call out this from the sklearn library from sklearn dot p processing from this package i'm going to call my function so from sklearn package from the pre-processing lab uh, particularly from sklearn package from the pre-processing module i am going to call the function label encoder let's create an object let's label encoder and let's check if everything is fine so yes it's just fine let's convert it data and what i'm going to do is embark let's assign it back to play dot fit transform let's transform it up and let's pass our data embark if i check my data now you can see that embark column has been just changed from one to one two 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 so that's how we can change so it's again alphabetically so what we have is c q s that's how we can just convert it out all the label encoder that's it for this video in our next video we are going to touch the last feature engineering topic that is scaling after that we will jump into our machine learning and we will start with the algorithms thank you very much let's get back in the next video